Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. Today I quickly want to review this uh, unit. This is like a selfie stick for the Osmo Pocket. It's not actually a, a selfie stick that I want, that I use for my Osmo Pocket. Okay, so this is a selfie stick uh, which I use for my Osmo Pocket and why? I'll tell you why. The Osmo Pocket itself is such a small and light unit uh, that I take it everywhere, even where I am not expecting to use the camera or where I would not normally take my GH5, I still take this with me because it's so small I can simply put it in this default case that comes with it and put it in the jacket pocket or even jeans pocket and take it with me. It's so simple and light and if I want to use it, I can use it. If I don't want to use it, it's no big bother. I don't have to take a backpack with it or any case or anything like that. So uh, the problem with that is though that my expectations keep getting higher and higher. So I do vlog with this quite a lot, even at home or outside. And the thing is, uh, I seriously feel that I would not have been uh, able to do this daily vlog thing if I didn't have this because uh, the GH5 you can't take it everywhere with you and sometimes interesting things are happening outside the house uh, but this is not a place where you want to take the camera with you because the camera means taking a bag with you, taking a couple of batteries or other stuff with you uh, and uh, that is sometimes not physically well, physically it's possible, it's not feasible. For example, I went for the birthday party this uh, this weekend and I would not take my camera with me. That would be like ridiculous because I'm not expecting to take photos there. But this, put it in the pocket. Take everywhere you want. Um, the only problem that I have with the vlogging with this is that uh, I have to do my hand like this very far away and still the frame is quite small even if I take my hand as far as possible. So sometimes I tilt it like this so that it can look back at me and it's slightly further away from me. Still I'm not very happy with the frame. So I keep thinking because it's such a small and light thing there should be a selfie stick that you can use with it and that, light, that should be light enough as as well that you can put it in the pocket so I looked at some of the some of the selfie sticks that I've shown you before uh, which were for the Osmo pocket but they were a little bit too big so they're like this big this thick and then you don't want to take it you can't put it in the pocket because you're like then you're weighted down um, this one on the other hand is very small and light there's no uh, particular brand I'll give you the link in the description anyway uh, but uh, it's not a particular brand that then there are quite a few of these available uh, on on uh, Amazon this is just like a normal one for put the put the um, put your phone in here and then just plug this in and then you're good to go like a normal selfie stick but if you want to use it for the Osmo pocket I just do it like this like with the uh, I just put the camera here and then put rubber bands around it um, I'll just turn this off because if I want to put it in then I do it with that um, so just normal rubber band put it around there and then you have uh, something and I just usually open it like this much I don't open it a lot uh, like it can open this much so you can have it like that if you want to uh, but I don't I just open it like uh, usually like this much and that gives me enough distance from myself to to get it like uh, head and shoulders and I can have it slightly lower and uh, tilt it up so that it, it looks like it doesn't look like I'll show you the examples it doesn't look like I am holding the camera myself uh, and my acting skills are great so um, from my face you can't see that I am holding the camera myself it looks like the camera is moving with me somebody else is holding the camera uh, and I'm just in the frame so if you use the follow method and the face track with the Osmo Pocket it's very easy to use so I have this extra thing which is a <laughs> This is a very regulation DJI foam. Uh, it came with the, I think it came with this uh, Wi-Fi uh, wireless module. So just simply put the foam in there. Uh, I actually squeeze it in like this. So this makes it like level and then I can put the camera on here. So I will just do actually, yeah. So you can put the camera here. I normally put three uh, rubber bands around it uh, at different heights, uh, each of them doubled. So like that. And then you can put one here. 
So with the three of them on there, I am a little bit sure that it won't fall down or anything. So even if I do like this, it's still okay. Uh, I won't do it when I'm outside on the road. Uh, but if I do this much, and it's, it's good enough frame. So I will do right now, I will do a quick video with this. And here we go. So, so this is the face track on. Uh, let me see, it's not slow motion, nope, it's not a video, and here we go. So with this, if I hold it like this, then my head and shoulders are in the picture. Okay, let me do slightly further away, this much. And then, even more of my uh, body can be in there, and it looks normal. So if, if I'm walking around with this, it's quite easy to handle, it's not very heavy. So. And then if I have it like this, uh, my jacket pocket is big enough, then I can just put it uh, with, the, with the camera attached to it inside uh, and just walk around and when I need it, pull it out, use it, put it back, turn the camera off, put it back in the pocket. Uh, so it's quite comfortable to use that way. And I'm gonna turn this off and take it off. And let's take this. So, I usually leave it like this as well in my pocket sometimes, but you don't have to. You can just take everything off. Uh, or I can actually, I do leave the rubber bands on there quite a lot. So I just leave it like this. Uh, so this is perfectly fine. And it's quite light. So it's, I think, yeah, it's about the same weight as the Osmo Pocket. So you can put the Osmo Pocket in the po same pocket and then have this in another pocket and it's easy to take with you. Uh, I can put it with the wireless module or without it, but usually I prefer without it because if you are using this bracket, which is for the phone, uh, if you're using it for the actual camera, uh, then there is no place for the, for the phone to go. So you have to have, hold it like this and then opt the phone one-handed. It's much easier to just hold it like this, press the button, and then just start sh shooting that way so you can see on the screen what your frame is. And that small screen is good enough for that. So for vlogging purposes, that's quite good enough. Um, this is um, another way you could hold, you could use it is to the, like normal selfie stick. So you could put the phone in there and then attach the camera, the Osmo Pocket with it, with the USB connector, and then use that. So in that case, you would use it from this hand and then the camera is in front of you. And then you can use it that way, just quite, uh, quite easily comfortable as well. But in that case, you have to make sure that the camera uh, the camera attached properly and it doesn't fall off. Usually it's quite all right. I have not had much uh, much concerns about that, but still I don't use it outside uh, that way. I prefer to use it this way because it's lighter that way. Um, so yeah, um, this is this is the uh, this is the stick, and I will put the link in the description. And I think it's quite good, quite useful that way. If you do, especially if you do vlogging, or if you want to do time lapse, it would be good if it had feet and stuff. But uh, then again, the more features we have, the more weight we add uh, to this. And it was very cheap as well, something around ten quid, like maybe 10, 11 pounds. Um, I'll put the Amazon link in there so you can check it out. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Please subscribe to the channel for more stuff like this and other interesting stuff. Bye.